In the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Okay, ang umaga po sa inyong lahat. And uh, Merry Christmas. Today we celebrate the feast of the Holy Family of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. And in a very special way, we pray for each and every family, especially the families who are going through difficult times, we pray for them today. The Feast of the Holy Family, celebrated during the Christmas week, reminds us that the Savior is born into a family. The Son of God, in order to draw us back to the Father, becomes a member of the human family. He shares not only the love and affection of Mary and Joseph, but also the fragility and danger they face because of poverty and injustice. May the Lord Jesus, who has come to be part of the human family, bless all our families. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, 
graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity, and so in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. It is God who builds the human family, the wise man Surak, teaches us the order to live a family life pleasing to God. Parents should love their children, and children should honor and care for their parents, especially in their old age. A reading from the book of Cyril. God sets a father and honor over his children. A mother's authority he confirms over her sons. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and pre preserves himself from them. When he prays, he is heard. He stores up riches who reverse his mother. Whoever honors his father is gladdened by children. And when he prays, is heard. Whoever reverses his father will live a long life. He who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My son, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fail, be considerate of him revile him not all the days of his life kindness to a father will not be forgotten firmly planted against the death of your sins a house raised in justice to you the word of the lord thanks be to god Blessed are those Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in His ways, for you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home, your children like olive plants around your table. Behold, Thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. The Apostle Paul reminds us that through faith in God and through Christian holiness are seen in acts of kindness, humility, patience, and love. Faith is lived in a family, their husband and wife and children love and care for one another. 
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, put on as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, heartfelt compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If one has a grievance against another, as the Lord has forgiven you, so must you also do. And over all this, put on love, that is the band of perfection. And let the peace of Christ control your hearts, the peace into which you were also called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Wives, be subordinate to your husbands as is proper in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and avoid any bitterness toward them. Children, Obey your parents in everything, for this is pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, so they may not become discouraged. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Let the peace of Christ control your hearts. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod had died, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared in a dream. To rise to Joseph in Egypt and said, Rise, take the child and his mother and go to the land of Israel, for those who sought the child's life are dead. He rose, took the child and his mother, and went to the land of Israel. And when he heard that Archelaus was ruling over Judea in place of his father Herod, he was afraid to go back there. And because he had been warned in a dream, he departed for the region of Galilee, he went and dwelt in a town called Nazareth, so that what had been spoken through the prophets might be fulfilled. He shall be called a Nazarene. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. A few years ago, nag-aaral pa po ako, uh, one organization came to me and engaged my help. Ginagawa po ako ng isang pag-aaral 
kung pupwedeng dalhin nila yung pamamaraan ng pag-aalaga ng mga matatanda doon sa bansa nila sa Southeast Asia, dalhin dito sa Southeast Asia at particularly dito sa Pilipinas. Ito yung may mga dimensya na sa atin ay tawag natin dito ay makakalimuti na. No? Uh, Nag-uulyanin. No? Uh, they have a way of taking care of it by putting it in a foster home, in a nursing house, and they are being taken care of. So doon po sa aking pag-aaral, at the end, ang naging conclusion ko ay mukhang hindi babagay sa kultura ng Southeast Asia at lalong-lalo na sa kultura ng mga Pilipino. Kung hindi man hindi babagay, mahihirapan po na mailagay dito ang inyong programa. Bakit? Tinanong ako. Sapagkat kako, sa pamilyang Pilipino, hindi namin dinadala sa isang nursing home. Hindi namin ilinalagak sa isang foster home, uh, nursing home, ang mga matatanda. Sapagkat sa konteksto ng pamilyang Pilipino, doon ka pinanganak, doon ka lumaki, doon ka dinisiplina, doon ka minahal, doon ka nalugmok, doon ka rin itinayo, doon ka naging successful, doon ka naging failure, andun yung mga manlalait sa'yo, andun naman yung mga magpipray sa'yo, at doon ka rin tatanda, di ba? At pagdating ng araw, lalong-lalo na sa mga probinsya, doon ka rin madalas iburol at ang kasamang maghahatid sa iyo sa huling hantungan ay pamilya. Diba? And that is something that many of the Western people could not yet fully understand. It is in the family. Kaya nga, yung mga may tawag tayo, very skating, masakit. Ang sinasabi natin, Kapag ka nakakakita tayo ng mga matatanda na naglalakad-lakad sa kalye, marusing, madumi, ang unang pumapasok madalas sa isip natin ay nasaan ang mga walang utang na loob ng mga anak ng mga ito. Para sa Pilipino, di ba, kapag ka tinawag ka na walang utang na loob, eh, sukdulan yan. Hindi ka marunong tumanaw ng utang na loob. Family. Dito rin po, sa aming Dominican community, we live in a family. We, we live in a community. In fact, ang dami naming lolo dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag sa community naming mga Dominicans dito po sa Manawag. And most of this ay mga naging professor namin sa University of Santo Tomas at sa aming philosophy school. At nakakatuwa kapag ka Uh, ito na yung panahon na sinisingil namin sila of course, no, in a jest in a joke, ang sabi namin lo, bakit naman binigyan mo lang ako ng 80 nung ako ay estudyante mo, no, nangingiti na lang yung mga matatanda no? uh, they are very important part ng aming komunidad kaya nga, for us uh, we still refuse and fall into the temptation of just bringing all the elderly into one nursing home na pagdating ng matanda na sila, retired na sila, pagsasama-samahin na lang sila doon. No, what we did is very much aligned and in the culture ng mga Pilipino. We take our lolos in our communities and this is a time that we are the ones who are taking care of them. Nagsilbi sa probinsya, nagsilbi sa mga komunidad, naging minister sa mga tao, now that in their old age, they deserve to be taken care of. Alagaan. May practical side po ito. Tatanda din kami. <laughs> At sana ang panalangin namin ay yung mga sumunod sa amin ay nakita yung pag-aalaga na ginagawa namin sa mga matatanda sa loob ng pamilya para pagdating ng araw ay kami rin po ay maalagaan. But that's the rhyme in rhythm ng Filipino family, di ba? Doon ka aalagaan, 
at doon ka kapag ka nagkakasakit, doon ka gagamutin. My dear friends, today we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Family. And we all know, aminin natin, that we are all a far cry from the Holy Family of Jesus. But just the same, I am very sure of this, we are all trying our very best to emulate the examples of the Holy Family. Dalawang salita po yun, ha? Holy and then Family. While in the past, lagi nating tinitake for granted on how to be a family, the difficulties of being a family, at lagi nating iniisip that all the family should go directly to holiness, to move to holiness, pero kapag ka nababalitaan natin, kapitbahay natin, o tayo mismo, we know very much that it is very difficult on how to be a family. Iba? Minsan madali, mahirap muna yung, teka muna, ano muna yung, bago, bago ko pag-usapan yung paano maging banal, paano maging uli, paano ko ba muna bubuuin ang aking pamilya? Magkawatak-watak, kung saan-saan nagpunta, hindi na nag-uusap-usap, hindi na nagbabatian, wala nang pakialaman, how to become a family first, and then perhaps we can talk on how to be holy. But the two are very much intertwined. To be a family is to be whole, to be holy. Kaya nga po, sa mga pagkakataon na ito, the holy family is an exemplar it tells us that they too went through what we have all gone through as a family. Like for example, no? sabi nga nung isang wise person, sa loob ng pamilya, walang sides. Mag-aaway-aaway, magpapatawad, pero walang sides. We're all a member of a family. But instead, there are seasons in the family, di ba? There are seasons that, that the young are being born, that the old are passing by. There are seasons of forgiveness. There are seasons also that we hurt one another. There are seasons of growing up. There are seasons, there are different seasons in the family. And in those seasons, we can actually get lessons from how the Lord, Mary, and Joseph live as a family. Kahit na yung Panginoon, eh hinanap din, nawala rin. And that's why Joseph and Mary returned to Jerusalem at nagbulalas lang ng sama ng loob si Maria. Anak, bakit mo naman kami pinakaba ng tatay mo? Sa mga magulang, yung ganyang mga salita, ay natural at normal. Alalang alala kami sa iyo. Usapan natin alas 9, alas 10 na, wala ka pa. Alalang alala kami sa iyo. We get that from the life of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. In today's gospel, the role of the Father becomes very, very clear. It was to Joseph that the angel appeared and instructed him, take care of your family, protect it, flee to Egypt because nanganganib ang buhay ng iyong pamilya. And Joseph did not dilly-dally. He went in haste and go to Egypt to protect his family. We protect one another in the family. Yes, we hurt a lot each other. But it's also at the end of the day, we protect each other in the family. In the family also, we were taught how to be obedient. Many times I do not understand what my parents would all would tell me. Sometimes many of us would rebel, would go against their wishes. But at the end of the day, when we are a little bit older, we kind of understood what they were telling us to do. And it can only be summarized in this. Kasi naman, 
mahal namin kayo. Kaya namin ginagawa yun. Sometimes the methods are unthinkable, unreasonable, illogical. But the reason why it is being done is always something that is noble and even godlike. Mahal namin kayo. And Jesus, because of that, remembered the wedding at Cana when Mary said, Hmm, wala na silang alak. <laughs> Sabi ng Panginoon, Anong concern ko niyan? Alak yan. It's not even. Nimbita lang tayo rito. And yet Mary did not relent. And also Jesus did not disobey. Huh? Our Lord obeyed Mary, his mother. And that we can get also from the Holy Family. In Joseph, nako, bibihira pong ma-mention si Jose sa Ibanghelyo. Bibihirang magsalita. And yet, Joseph stood by the family. Siya yung naging moog ng pamilya ni Maria at ni Jesus. My dear friends, in the end, there are also seasons when we are asked to be strong for one another. In the cross, in front of the cross, when Jesus was already agaw buhay, Mary was at the foot of the cross, being brave and being courageous. There will be many times that we will be asked to be brave for one another in the family. We see some of the members being weak, but hopefully there are those in the family that when one is weak, another is strong. As we celebrate the feast of the Holy Family, we remember that it is God who gave us the grace to keep the family to strengthen the family and to mold our family into the family of God. It's still Christmas and within Christmas we celebrate the family. The family wherein our Lord Jesus Christ was born. From my community here to your family, we greet you Merry Christmas and we will continue to pray for your family in every season that you are going through. Kindly all stand and all together, I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of heaven and earth, earth of, of all things, things visible, visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father, before, before all, all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our, our sake, sake was, was crucified, crucified under Pontius Pilate, Pilate. He, he suffered, suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us joyfully give thanks to the Heavenly Father for sending His Son to become a member of our human family. With one heart, let us pray. Hear the prayer of your family, O Lord. Hear the prayer of your family, O Lord. May Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, religious and lay leaders continually strive to grow in holiness in Christ. 
by fulfilling their responsibilities in synodality and brotherhood, we pray. Hear the prayer of your family, O Lord. May government officials and civil leaders lead their constituents by their good example, promote peace and prosperity among the people and support families beset by calamity, injustice, and poverty, we pray. Hear the prayer of your family, O Lord. May families that are severely tried by separation and problems related to drugs and sexual abuse receive healing and comfort from Jesus, love and from their communities, we pray. Hear the prayer of your family, O Lord. May all families be protected from the harm brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic, we pray. Hear the family, O Lord. May our departed brothers and sisters rest in God's eternal embrace of peace, we pray. Hear the prayer of your family. Let us we pray for <clears throat> the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We also pray first for the special intention of the devotees, the family of the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, for their well-being, for their health and safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear. our prayer. For the, also... for the birthday of Reverend Father Stephen Ridelius Opi, let us pray to the Lord. We also pray for all our frontliners, especially our health workers, for the enlightenment and guidance of uh, our church leaders and our government leaders. We pray to the Lord. Hear the prayer of your family, O Lord. Now we pause for a while and in silence, you know, offer your personal intentions. Heavenly Father, listen to your family whom you call to become holy like your Son. Send us your Spirit as we grow daily in your love and truth, that we may honor you in our lives. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, 
you may establish our families firmly in your grace and your peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for through Him the Holy Chains that restores our life has shown forth today in splendor when our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive an ending honor, but by his wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and we joy we proclaim. of our holiness may call it therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take these all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, our auxiliary bishop, Gerard, the master of the order of preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Once again, we are being reminded that we all belong to one family, the family of God. And the Father gave us a permission to call Him as our own. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now we offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you.
My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, our healer, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ bring to everlasting life. Amen. Please kneel for prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Let us pray together, hear us, Lord that conscience may always be our ultimate norm, that the common good may always be our highest goal, that human dignity may be respected all the time, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority, that care for creation may never be ignored that solidarity may guide the path of peace and development, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, equal to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name 
and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the Holy Family, so that after the trials of the world, we may share the company forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before I give the final blessing, maraming maraming salamat po sa pagdalaw ninyo sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of the of Manawag at uh, I can see that many of you have brought your family here uh, on this day of the face of the Holy Family. Makakaasa po kayo ng patuloy na panalangin namin uh, from here, from the community of the Dominican Fathers at the Priory of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Panalangin po namin para sa inyong mga pamilya. Uh, tiniling din po namin na uh, isama nyo rin po kami sa inyong mga panalangin. At muli po, maligayang Pasko po sa inyong lahat. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. I bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of His Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy night, Holy day, drive far from your darkness of eyes and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. Amen. May God who will that the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angels. Fill your mind with the gladness he gives and make your heralds of this gospel. Amen. And may God who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm fill you with the gift of his peace and favor and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. And as ascended, go in peace to love and serve the Lord to one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We shall now say the prayer. We shall now say the prayer po for the blessing ng mga may sakit dito nasa bahay and this is to be followed by the prayer for the blessing po ng inyong mga religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. God Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness and restore them to good health to the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, we will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. For your religious articles, we bless. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.